hello everyone welcome to linuxhelp.com today we are going to see how to install op manager on centos 7 op manager is a network monitoring software that can automatically discover your network group your devices services provide your process status and so on now let us see the installation process of this monitoring tool on centos 7 for that switch to your terminal first download the source package in any archive format before that check whether you have java version installed in and running in your machine by default center 7 comes with java installed in it next go to its official website to download the package Go to its official website. Go under the free tab since I'm going to install free version which can monitor up to 10 devices. If you want to install any enterprise version or any other thing related to this, you can go into the respective tabs. Since my machine is Linux, I'm going to download this package and my architecture is 64 bit. So click on this to download it. The process continues after downloading it go inside the download location move to your convenient directory or convenient location Next, install it by running the following script. In case if your CentOS is minimal machine, which is not graphical, you can use iPhone console after this command. Once the installation wizard pops up on your screen, click next to start with your installation. Next, agree your license agreement. If you want to have any technical support from their team, you can provide your details here, else skip it. Select your language. Directory location, if you want to browse and change as per your wish, you can change it and proceed next. This is your default web server port number. You can change as per your wish. I'm going to customize it as 8080. And click next your details of your installation now your op manager is getting installed in your mission it may take some time for getting installed After installation, it may take few steps for extracting all the files. Next, select your server name and click next. And finally finish it. You are done with the installation. Next, go inside the document location. This is what the directory location for the op manager now list it. In order to start your service, either by the script, you can use this command. By simply running the script, you can start your op manager service. If you want to start your op manager by daemon process, you can simply run this service, which is link as service.sh, which will start your op manager as a daemon service. Next, check the status of it. It is not active, so start your service. Now it is active and running. Now move to your web browser. 
Now open your browser and enter your machine's IP address followed by the port number for your op manager. By default, the username and password is admin. Login. Your dashboard gets opened up like this. Your dashboard gets opened up like this. If you go inside the settings, you will be prompted to a page like this. If you want to provide any mail server settings for getting your notification on every alert, you can provide here. And in discovery, you can add the devices to be monitored. You can either select the IP range or your device IP. Followed by it, you can provide the credentials, either it is Telnet, SSH or a SNMP credential for authorization and authentication. Followed by the rules and your interface and scheduling the task for your alert messages. And click your inventory, which comprises of the list of devices, interfaces and subnets you have added for monitoring. By default, my local host gets added whenever I install op manager in my machine when I click on my interface I get reports something like this which comprises of availability packet loss and response time click here and edit your device details you can provide your IP address provide the display name type as Linux server vendor I'm going to select as net SNMP which I'm going to use for my authentication and category as server remaining everything leave it as such and save this Your field values are updated successfully. In, in passwords, click here to change. You can provide your SNMP credentials or else you can provide your Telnet or SSH credentials for logging in inside your machine for monitoring purpose. Once you log in with any of these credentials, your RAM memory and CPU usage will be automatically scanned and monitored by this particular op manager. Then your dashboard which comprises of the overall view. Similarly, you can add nine more devices in free version and n number of devices in enterprise version. And thus we have seen how to install op manager on CentOS. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel Linux Help. For further tutorials, visit www.linuxhelp.com. Any queries, mail to support at linuxhelp.com.